Um, hi, my name is Alyssa. I'm obviously from Meridian. Um, the title of my message is Compelled by Obedience. Um, I'm going to talk about Saul and his disobedience and uh, what my version of compelled means and uh, obedience and how it even relates to love. Um, so I'm in 1 Samuel chapter 15, and this is where Saul was told to take out all of the Amalekites, and uh, he didn't, and uh, they kept what they wanted. They kept sheep and cattle and all the good stuff to sacrifice. To, uh, they said they were going to sacrifice it to the Lord, but they didn't listen. Uh, Saul didn't do what God told him to do, and uh, God told uh, Samuel what Saul did, and Samuel went to Saul. And uh, verse 22, he says, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much in obeying the voice of the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice. So he says right there, to obey, if you had listened to the voice of the Lord, that is much better than you, you know, doing what you wanted and then trying to make up for it later. He didn't, Saul did not listen to God. And so he was rejected. Um, in verse 23, it says, Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. So right there, it was the end of Saul. I mean, he slowly came to his demise because he didn't even listen to the instruction to wipe out all of the Amalekites. Um, the word compelled <laughs> means, um, in the Oxford Dictionary of English, it says that it means to bring about by force. Um, but that's like obedience. You have to, every day, take up your cross, every day, say yes to God. And it is difficult sometimes because we have our human nature and we want to do what we want. But God says to obey Him because it will be rewarded to us. And uh, it's like a mom, you know, tells you to do your chores and you decide you're going to do what you want. And then you get grounded and then it's just a mess. And so it would have been much easier if you had just, you know, taken out the trash and just did the dishes instead of just disobeying and doing what you wanted to. Because then you're in it, you know, then you're grounded and then you're punished in some sort. And it would have been much easier for you to just, you know, do what you're supposed to. And in you know, the case of our lives, sometimes it's hard to do what we're supposed to because it's hard to walk up to that kid and say, this is what God told me, or I, I think I need to pray for you. It's hard sometimes, but when you listen to the voice of the Lord, it's so rewarding. You know, God is our Heavenly Father, and He tells us to do things, and we don't listen. And the wages of sin is death, but ah, the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so He gives us that opportunity to make up for what we did wrong, but it it's much easier to obey because it shows that we love him by doing what he told us to do. Jesus died on the cross for our sins as a sacrifice, but he obeyed God when God told him that he needed to.